Hi there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to Reading Rousseau's Social Contract. Uh, we're, again, we're focusing on the social contract. We're in book two. Today, we're going to be looking at chapters six and seven. Six deals with the question of law, and seven deals with the legislator. And the legislator is one of the longer chapters in the social contract. So, that, uh, so let's see what happens. I hope it's not going to be an hour, over an hour. Um, on law. Though the subject, uh, 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 though the social compact, we have given the body politics existence in life. The issue now is to give it movement and will through legislation, right? That's the whole point. This is the, the idea. Before this point, we talked about the idea of how the body politic moves in that, in that sense. And now we have to deal with the question of how do we deal with action? We did with how it came to be. And in 51, uh, uh, note 51, he goes, the first paragraph of this chapter is taken from the Geneva Manuscript, right? So this, it's technical. This is something that, uh, 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 about this, why, this is why he, thing. For the original act, which forms and unites the, this body, does uh, uh, not thereby determine anything about which, about what it should do uh, 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 to preserve itself. So therefore, the way the social contract comes into being, how the original act itself and the creation of the general will, this does not determine uh, uh, how it, you know, this how it forms and unites the body, does not determine anything, anything, he says, it plays no role does not shape uh, um, what it should do to do to preserve itself. The question is, is the question of what needs to be done and what it should do, should do, not, just, not, not what needs to do here, not necessity, but what it ought to do in that sense, right? What it should do to preserve itself. Whatever is good in accordance with order is also by the nature of things independently of human convention. So therefore, this in other words, what is good in accordance with order, so it's both good, but and it's also the good that's in accordance with order, is by nature, is, uh, uh, is also by the nature of things. In other words, it's determined by what sh the, how na nature itself, how the, or the things, how things are done, required, right? Independently of convention. All justice comes from God. He alone is the source. But if we knew how to receive it from high, we would need neither government or law. So therefore, the God, the deist God, in the sense that's, I mean, maybe sense, right? The God who's going to instore certain worlds and rules. If we could just know what God, God created the system, he's nature, and therefore the rules of nature. And therefore, if we could con know God's mind or access it, we would need neither government or laws, right? This idea. Uh, there is without doubt a universal justice emanating from reason alone. But to be uh, but to be acknowledged among us, this justice needs to be reciprocal. So that means we have to be able to reciprocate it. We have to do this idea that it's knowable, but we have to have it so that it's reciprocal. And I said this is the difference. It's it's it's, it's there is a justice that's emanated here. But it's not, a, for, but it to be acknowledged among us, we have to have reciprocation. Yeah, everyone is like, okay. Considering things from a human point of view, the laws of justice are ineffectual among men for want of a natural sanction. Okay, this is the very, this is the very thing. That the laws of nature, the laws of justice inherent in nature are not, are seen ineffectual because they're not self. Uh, uh, they're not. They, they lack. A, he says a natural sanction that they don't have sanctions in themselves. In other words, there's no punishment. The, the, the justice in itself does not simply punish the guilty. Okay, this is. Uh, they merely benefit the wicked and harm the just. And when the latter observes uh, 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 them towards everyone while no one observes them towards him. So the wicked, the benefit, in other words, that whereas uh, uh, it, 
it, har it benefits the wicked and harms us. When the latter observes, the, 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 in other words, the just person observes the laws of natural just, justice, what ju laws of justice are, but the um, but those acting towards him do not. Therefore, there must be conventions and laws to combine rights with duties and to bring justice back to its object. So therefore, what he's saying here is that laws, conventions and laws are the means to ensure recipro reciprocity of all the parties, that there's sanctions. That a breach of the law, the breach of the, san the, breach of the law, a breach of what is just, um, leads to a sanction, punishment, and therefore the guilty are punished. Therefore, uh, 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 now uh, back to its object. Right? In the state of nature where everything is common, I owe nothing to those to whom I have promised nothing. I recognize as belongings. Uh, I recognize as belongings to someone else only what is useless to me. It is not the same in the civil state where all rights are fixed by law. So in the nature, okay. If it's not useful to me, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to claim it. So in the state of nature, you claim that, but if it's not useful to me, I'm not going to claim it. It's not what I want, right? That's the problem with state of nature in that sense, right? Uh, that I, uh, in other words, there's no obligation. In a state of nature where everything is common, I owe nothing to those whom I have promised nothing. So there's no agreement. And as long and as and I recognize that, uh, and I recognize this belonging to someone else only when it's not useful to me, right? Uh, um, but this is the civil state; everything is regulated by law in that sense. But what is law, after all? As long as people are satisfied to attach only metaphysical ideas to this word, they will continue to reason without understanding each other. And when they have stated what law, uh, what a law is what a law of nature is, they will surely uh, not thereby have a better idea what a law of uh, 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 the state is. So therefore, law is different. In other words, what, what does the law mean? This means a regulated will in that sense, right? And that they only understand it from a metaphysical idea of this word. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, 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 they'll continue to not understand, they'll misunderstand it. Because when they have stated what a law of nature is, right, they will have not have a good idea what the law of the state is. Because these are two different things. I have already said that uh, 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 there is no general will concerning particular objects. Indeed, the particular object is either within the state or outside of the uh, 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 outside of the state. If it's outside of the state, a will that is foreign to it is not general in relation to it. This goes back to what he said earlier, right? This idea that has to be common, has to be shared, has to be something like this. And therefore, the, th the common things are within the state and everything else is private, okay? One private one. And if within the state, the object is part of it, then a relation between the whole and the part is formed, which makes uh, of the two separate entities, one of which is the part and the other of which is the whole, is the whole minus that of the part. This is that whole creation, this art, that strange art, uh, math. The whole minus, uh, uh, but the whole minus a part is not a whole. But for as long as this relation lasts, there is no whole, but only two unequal parts. It follows that this is the will of the one of them is no longer general in relation to the others. Therefore, as long as the, 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 we understand each other as parts, that this is like this, uh, uh, um, uh, this is always going to be a situation of one is going to be, they're going to be unequal of this power in relation to each other. And therefore, that's going to have the problem, right? This is them. But when the entire people acts, some, uh, in acts, 
people enact something concerning the entire people. It, it cons uh, cons uh, considers only itself. And if the relationship is formed then, it is between the whole object viewed in one way and the whole object viewed in another without any division of the whole. Okay. Then the subject matter of the enactment is general, uh, like the will that enacts. It is this act that I call the law. So therefore, law is a act of the, you know, the general body collecting for the gen general purpose, not specific as well. Again, I think this is what When I say that the object of laws is always general, I mean that the law considers the subject as a body and action in the abstract, never a man as an individual or a particular action. In other words, there's no particular law. There's never a law that aims at you, Mr. J or, or me, directly. It aims at, at everyone. Okay, it addresses everyone, and everyone is equal. That's everyone as is, is, is covered by it, and it, everyone is going, subject to it or benefits from it, right? Thus, the law can very well enact that there will be privileges, but it cannot confer on uh, 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 on them to anyone by name. The law can create several classes of citizens and even designate the qualities of determining who has the right to these classes, but it cannot name the specific people to be admitted in them. It cannot establish a royal government in hereditary succession. It can't, you know, it can do this, right? But it cannot elect a king or name the royal family. In short, any function that relates to an individual object belongs not um, object does not belong to the legislative power. Given this idea, one sees immediately that it is no uh, that it is no longer necessary to ask who should make laws, since they are acts of the general will. Nor whether the prince is above the law, since he is a member of the state. Nor whether the law can be unjust, since no one is unjust towards himself. Uh, uh, nor can one, uh, 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 nor how, nor how one is free yet subject to the laws, since uh, uh, they merely record our wills. So therefore, the idea of the, the laws are merely the, uh, uh, the record of the will of the general the, of the will of the, of the community. Uh, mm -hmm. Furthermore, one sees that uh, of the laws combine the universality of the will and that of the object. What any man, whomever he may be, orders on his own authority is not law. So therefore, it's universality, it's the collective, it's the collective body of the whole. And if an individual orders something, this is not law. Whatever is ordered, even by the sovereign concerning a particular object, is not law either. So if it's, but rather a decree. Nor is it an act of sovereignty, but of magistrate. So therefore, again, this is his whole point about the difference between a law is an act of sovereignty, whereas a decree is an act of magistrate. Therefore, I, theref I therefore call every state ruled by law as a republic, whether the form of administration may be. For when uh, alone, for then alone, the public interest governs and the commonwealth really exists. Every legitimate government is Republican. Well, I shall explain what government, uh, uh, I shall explain later what government is. Republican, by this word, I do not mean only aristocracy or democracy, but in general, any government guided by the general will, which is uh, of the law. 
In order to be legitimate, the government must not be confused with the sovereign, but must be its minister, and then the monarchy itself a republic. This will become clear in the next book, right? This idea. Book, four, uh, book three. Um, laws are, properly speaking, only the condition of civil association. The people that are subject to the laws ought to be their author. Ugh. Ought to be their author. Only those who are f forming an association have the right to regulate the conditions of the society. So therefore, only those, only those who are forming the association has the right to regulate them. But how will they regulate the conditions, right? Question. Will it be common accord by sudden inspiration? Does the body politic have an organ to, uh, to emulate its will? Who gives it the necessary foresight to act uh, uh, to formulate acts, to publish uh, them in advance? Or will it pronounce them in the need of time? Pardon. How will a blind multitude, which often does not know what it wants, because it rarely knows what's good for it, carry out by itself an under, uh, undertaking as vast and as difficult as a system of legislation. So again, like this, this is, this is a series of questions he asks, right? He asks like, one, two, three, four, five questions. Uh, by itself, the people always wants good, but by itself, it does not always see it. The general will is always right, but the judgments that guide it is not always enlightened. It must be made to see objects, uh, 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 see objects as they are, or sometimes as they should appear to be. Sh uh, 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 shown the path, the good, uh, uh, shown the good path it seeks. Safeguard against the seduction of private wills. Shown how to assimilate considerations of time and place. Taught to weigh the uh, uh, attractions of the present, tangible advantages against the dangers of, of remote hidden ills. So again, this is here. The general will needs what to be always right, but it needs what it needs. But it's not always enlightenment. And therefore, the general will needs to be what shown what made to see the objects as they are, or sometimes as they should be. That's one. Uh, uh, shown the good path it seeks. Two, three. Safeguard against the seduction of private wills. So that's one, two, three. Right. Four is shown to how to assimilate consideration time place. Five taught to weigh the attraction of the present tangible uh, against the dangers of the hidden ill. So again, another five, the five questions in five points. I wonder if they relate to each other. That might be an interesting comparison. So I'm just, you know, that's the thing to study, study these questions and the, 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 these five points here. Private individuals, uh, private individuals see the good they reject. The public wants the good it does not see. All are equal in needs of guides. The former must be obliged to make their wills conform to their reason. The latter must be taught to know what it means. Again, so the, the public and you know, the private, the private, the private, the two things, right? The public individual and the public and one public and the private, the private will, the private individual, and the public community, the body. The public enlightenment results in the union of understanding and the will and will in the social body. So it's the union of understanding and will in the social body. Hence, the complete cooperation of the parts, and finally, the greatest force of the whole. In other words, it's hence the greatest the cooperation of the parts, and then the greatest force of the whole is cooperative part leads to the force. Well, from this arises the necessary of the legislature. Well, I'm not feeling good. My stomach is bothering me, so I'm going to stop here. If you have any questions, um, raise them. Um, if not, uh, 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 uh,
you know, put them below. If you like what you like here, like it. If you didn't like what you didn't like, you hit the thumbs down. Um, uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so we can get the videos of this. If you, you want to follow me on social media, links below. My academic social media links below uh, as well. Um, if you wish to help me to do what I do, you can become a member through subscribe to our Patreon or buy my books down here below. Again, this I, I, I'm gonna. This is gonna be. A, I think I'm gonna make a separate video for the legislature. I'm gonna do both together. But uh, all of a sudden, I, 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 something hit me, and I'm sorry. Something. This something just just hit me, and my stomach is, is bothering me. So I have to stop. Um, I don't want to throw up on anything like that. So uh, I'll let you guys uh, continue here. I will say have a good day, and I will continue this in the next video. Okay, take care. Bye bye.